Hey guys, it's Michael and I'm back with another Let's Build video. Last time I built a room using mainly rare items, so today I'm gonna build a movie theater using mostly items from the W Shop. First, I'm gonna start off building the lobby or concession stand of the movie theater. Then I'm gonna show you how to create your own actual movie theater screening room. I've started off here with a large room and as you can see, I've already added four doors to this room. These doors would represent movie theaters in a movie theater. So now I'm going to start by actually adding a wallpaper and flooring for my concession stand or main lobby of the movie theater here. So I'm going to use the movie magic wallpaper. This can be found in the W shop and so can the mega modern flooring. And I'm going to add that right there. So these two look really nicely, I think, together because you have the nice blue highlight here um, that matches the walls perfectly. Now, let's start by actually building the concession stand right in the center of this room. And then we can work on creating the uh, border of the room. I'm going to add two concession stand front counters right here. Let me rotate this one here and put it right next to each other so there's lots of spots for people to come in and, and buy snacks for their movie. Now I'm going to add to this by adding the concession stand back counter. I'm going to add this to the left here. This is actually an exclusive item that was built to match the magic movie theme, which I'm using to build this room. And it's the snack cart stove, and I'm gonna add it right to the right of the concession stand here. So I still have a little bit of an entrance here for my pet to uh, walk in and walk out of uh, the concession stand here. I really like this because I've created a nice central area snack bar here, right in the middle of the movie theater lobby. Now let's start working on the back two walls and decorating these walls to really give it a feel that this is the main lobby of a movie theater. First, right on the back wall here, I'm gonna add the condiment stand here. So once people buy all their goodies from the concessions, they can dress them up with any kind of toppings that they want. So right next to that condiment stand here, I'm going to add a movie poster. Now, Dex Dangerous is featured on this movie poster. He's a really recognizable character from Webkins, and there we go. And actually, from the Webkins prize pool, that of course you can get by spinning the wheel of WoW 15 times or completing your daily Kins care for one week, this is the sci-fi movie poster. I really like this item because it's animated. It's got flashing lights there, really stands out, and look at that. It features the same image as on the Dex Dangerous standee right there. So that's pretty cool. I'm sure that this theater would definitely be showing the Dex Dangerous movie. Let's work along this back wall here. You know, every single movie uh, theater I've been to has an arcade, so we definitely have to add some arcade items here. Now these aren't from the W Shop, they're actually from the game of Spree. When you make it to the end of the game, you can spend your mall credits and trade them for prizes at the Kinsville Mall at the end of the game. So here's the Kinspin Bowling Arcade Unit, and actually if you click on this arcade unit, it actually opens up the bowling game. So they're really, they're interactive game arcade consoles here. Right next to that one, I'm gonna add the Zingo Switcheroo Arcade Unit right next to there in the back corner. So here we go. We've got two games here and then I'm gonna add, add one more to the left of that. It's the linked arcade unit. And I'm gonna add it just to the entrance to this door here. I'm gonna rotate it there. So this is our little arcade area right behind the snack stand. So while you're waiting for your movies, your pets can, can play some arcade games. I'm going to add some movie posters. It's a movie poster set. Of course, this is from the W Shop. It's part of the movie magic theme. I'm going to add these posters right next to the arcade units there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to actually move the arcade units down here because we've got to free up some space. I don't want to block that Dex Dangerous poster. That's nice. That's a little bit more organized there. And you know what? Another item from the Webkins prize pool is actually the fire extinguisher. And I like to add the fire extinguisher to rooms that are building that wouldn't normally be part of a house so that it really distinguishes the room from a residential house. So 
So there we go. And in every single movie theater lobby, you would see a fire extinguisher. So here we go. We're, it's really starting to look like the lobby of the movie theater. The blue of this arcade unit, the frames, the tiles from the concession stand really work well with the wallpaper and are starting to tie this room in nicely. Now, I'm going to add another uh, movie poster that's part of the Webkin's prize pool to the left wall here, and it's the adventure movie poster. And this one, of course, features Artie from the Curio Shop, and he's in a great pose there. That one's flashing as well, so it's going to definitely draw the attention of everybody coming to the theater. Next to that one, I'm going to add the Usher statue right at the entrance way to this movie theater. And actually, if you notice, my pet is wearing the Usher's uniform, so he matches this one perfectly. The movie theater Usher uniform, by the way, you can also get during the game of Spree when you make it to the end. But I decided to dress him in that today because I thought it was pretty appropriate. We're almost done building this room. I really didn't want to make it too cluttered because, because of course, there's a lot of nice floor space and open spaces in, in uh, movie theater lobbies. What I am going to do is add a few cinema ribbon dividers to the room. Now, these dividers are definitely going to break up the space a little bit. And, you know, you can imagine that these would be barriers for... Um, lineups for some of the movies that are opening here. If there's a long lineup, people could wait in line to enter the movie theater, or you could also, you know, imagine that they are used for lineups for the concession stand. Now I'm just putting some on either side here, and I'm going to actually use one here to block off this space. I think I'll add one more right behind that one to create a nice corner space there. Now I'm actually going to add as the last finishing touch to this room, I'm actually going to add one more Dex Dangerous standy and I'm going to add it right behind here. But for this one, I'm actually going to rotate it. A lot of people don't even bother to look at the backs of some of the items, but the artists do spend just as much time designing the backs of items as they do at the front. And I really like the back of this one because it is very cardboard like. And I mean, whenever I go to a movie theater, this is something that you always see. It's the back of these uh, standees and um, there's the support right there for that standee. It just really reinforces the fact that this is a movie theater lobby. Now, there you go. That is the movie theater. And then we have the movie theater lobby. Sorry. And then we have four entrance ways to actually movie theater screening rooms. Now, I've set one up. So let's go there and take a look at how I set this up. Now I'm gonna show you two versions of this room. One version, this one that you're looking at right now as it loads, is a version if you didn't have a movie screen. We actually have a really cool rare item movie screen that I'm gonna show you um, just in a few minutes. But if you don't have that item, you can still create a cool movie theater for your pets. But all you have to do is face your chairs to one of these open walls. So you can imagine that there's actually a screen on the walls and you can imagine that your pets are watching a movie even if you don't own the colossal movie screen. So I've used these movie theater seating here. They're actually all four chairs are one item. And I've just stacked two rows of seven, leaving enough area here for an aisle to go up and down the movie theater and of course left and right and I've also used those movie theater dividers here just to create some division between the front section and the back section of the movie theater. Um, I've added some movie theater lighting to either side of these film strip columns that are incorporated into the wallpaper and of course there it is I've added another fire extinguisher at the back of the room. So there you go that is what the movie theater would look like if you do not own a screen you can line up your pets and make sure that they enjoy their movie. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up your movie theater if you owned the colossal rare movie theater screen. So now I've rotated everything in this room, so the chairs are now facing the left wall. And now I'm going to add the coolest item to this room that's going to really be the finishing touch for my theater screening room. And it's the theater screen. This item you can find, if you're lucky, at Artie's Curio Shop. Now, it attaches right onto the wall. Now, look at that. That is a beautiful big screen. And the coolest thing about this screen is if you actually click on it, there's a short movie that plays. So while your pet is hanging out in this room, they can have a seat and watch the movie. I think that is pretty cool. 
If you don't have this screen, one thing that you could use is the galactic view screen to kind of recreate the idea of a movie screen. It's not as good as the, the theater screen. You know, if you are wanting to have some sort of movie screen, it can work. It's actually animated as well. You click on it to turn it on and there's meteoroids flying across um, the window there. But instead of a window, you can pretend that this is a movie screen as well. I'm just going to show you one last trick here for your movie theater. First, I'll switch the screen up back to the theater screen. Now, for me, I love going to the movies, and one of the most exciting part of going to the movies is when those house lights are slowly dimming down and the movie is about to start. And I wanted to recreate that in my room. So what I decided to do was I picked up some black wall paint from the W Shop and the Creative Studio Flooring, which are both very dark colored and what I'm going to do is replace my wallpaper and flooring in this room with the two that I just mentioned and it's actually going to look like the house lights are coming down and the movie is about to play. Look at that. It really looks like the house lights are down here and everybody is ready for the movie to start. So let's just roll the movie there sit back relax and enjoy the show i hope that you enjoyed this let's build video please feel free to post your own videos on youtube and just put webkin's room design in the title so that we can find them and of course of always please leave a comment of what type of room you would like to see me build next all right guys see you next time click to play webkin's or watch more videos <laughs>